Hey, welcome to Minute Matrix. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Philippines reaches for the sky. A new era of vertical ambition dawns. The Philippines is on the cusp of a new architectural era. A nation once defined by its sprawling landscapes is now looking upwards. The drive to build taller, more iconic structures is palpable, you know? This ambition signals more than just engineering prowess. It reflects a growing economy and a confident national identity. The skyline of Metro Manila in particular is undergoing a dramatic transformation. News of potential super-tall skyscrapers generates excitement and debate. This heralds a period where the country aims to etch its mark on the global stage, not just with its natural beauty, but with man-made wonders that pierce the clouds. The economic transformation of the Philippines has been remarkable. Increased foreign investment plays a significant role. Business process outsourcing industries have flourished. This has created demand for vast amounts of office space. Metro Manila's skyline offers the most striking evidence of this growth. Financial districts like Makati and Ortigas Center have expanded rapidly. The rise of Bonifacio Global City in Taguig is another prime example. Its transformation showcases the rapid pace of development. They feature high-end residential towers and shopping malls, reflecting a new urban dynamism. Infrastructure development struggles to keep pace with the vertical expansion. The Philippines is leveraging its economic gains to build a future that is visibly taller and more prosperous. Several prominent skyscrapers already punctuate Metro Manila's horizon. The PBCOM Tower in Makati, for instance, held the title of the country's tallest building for many years. Completed in 2000, its 259-meter height symbolized the Philippines' entry into the new millennium with ambition. It houses the Philippine Bank of Communications and other corporate offices. Its sleek modern design became a familiar landmark in the Makati Central Business District. Another significant structure is the Gramercy Residences, also in Makati. Upon its completion, it became one of the tallest residential buildings in the Philippines. This signaled a shift towards high-rise living, catering to a growing affluent market. The Gramercy, with its distinctive design and height, became a notable feature of the century city development. The GT International Tower, located along Ayala Avenue in Makati, is also noteworthy. Its distinctive fin-like crown makes it easily recognizable. Completed in 2001, it contributes to the impressive cluster of corporate headquarters that define Makati's skyline. More recently, the Grand Hyatt Manila in Bonifacio Global City has claimed the title of the tallest building in the Philippines, standing at 318 meters. Its completion in 2017 marked a new milestone. It sets a new benchmark for height and luxury in the country's rapidly evolving urban landscape. Despite the growing number of tall buildings, many argue the Philippines still lacks a truly defining supertall skyscraper. A supertall is generally defined as a building exceeding 300 meters. While Grand Hyatt Manila meets this criterion, the quest is for something more. It's about a structure that achieves global iconic status. This means a building that is instantly recognizable worldwide. It should embody a unique architectural vision and perhaps cultural resonance. Such a building would transcend its physical dimensions to become a symbol of the nation itself. The existing skyscrapers, while impressive, often follow international design trends. They are functional and modern, contributing to a dense urban fabric. However, they may not possess that singular, unforgettable quality that defines an icon. The challenge lies in creating a design that is both globally appealing and distinctly Filipino. This could involve incorporating local motifs, materials, or philosophical concepts into the architecture. The aim is to build not just high but also with a unique identity that captures the world's imagination and stands apart. An iconic supertall can have significant economic and social impacts. It can boost tourism, attract international attention, and instill a sense of national pride. The search for this icon is therefore intertwined with the nation's broader aspirations for progress and recognition on the world stage. From colonial charm to modern marvels, a century of building upwards. The historical context of tall buildings in the Philippines begins modestly. The Manila Hotel, inaugurated in 1912, was an early example of grand construction. The post-World War II era saw the beginnings of modern high-rise construction. The 1960s and 1970s witnessed the rise of areas like Makati as the new financial center. Structures like the Rufino Pacific Tower began to push height boundaries. This led to the creation of Bonifacio Global City, or BGC. 
The journey culminated with the completion of Grand Hyatt Manila in 2017. Sky High Dreams deferred ambitious projects that never touched the clouds. The Philippine skyline is also shaped by dreams that never materialized. Several ambitious super tall projects were proposed but ultimately not built. The Centennial Tower, planned in the 1990s to commemorate 100 years of Philippine independence, is a prominent example. It was envisioned to be a 390-meter mixed-use skyscraper in what is now BGC. The 1997 Asian financial crisis hit the region hard. Funding dried up, and the project was eventually shelved. Another notable unbuilt project was Sky City. Proposed by the controversial businessman Dante Tan, it was an even more ambitious vision. Sky City was planned to be a 335-meter tower in the Ortigas Center area. The project faced numerous controversies, including issues related to its funding and the developer's business practices. Ultimately, these challenges proved insurmountable. The Philippine Diamond Tower was another super-tall aspiration. Proposed for the Manila Bay area, this tower was envisioned to be a stunning architectural feat. Its design often featured a crystalline diamond-like structure. It aimed to be a major tourist attraction and a symbol of Manila's modernization. Like other ambitious projects, it faced hurdles. The Diamond Tower, too, joined the list of what-ifs in the story of the Philippine skyline. The Gauntlet of Growth Challenges in Erecting Supertall Structures Building supertall structures in the Philippines presents a unique set of challenges. The country is located within the Pacific Ring of Fire. This means it is prone to frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Designing buildings that can withstand powerful seismic activity is paramount. This requires advanced engineering, specialized materials, and rigorous adherence to building codes. The cost of earthquake-proofing a supertall structure adds significantly to the overall budget. Bureaucratic hurdles also pose significant obstacles. Securing the necessary permits and approvals for large-scale construction can be a lengthy and complex process. Developers often navigate multiple government agencies at local and national levels. Delays in this process can lead to increased costs and can even jeopardize a project's viability. Economic factors are another major challenge. Super tall skyscrapers require enormous capital investment. Fluctuations in the global and local economy can impact funding availability and investor confidence. The high upfront costs and long construction timelines make these projects particularly vulnerable to economic volatility. Beyond these, there are also logistical and technical challenges. Overcoming these multifaceted challenges requires a combination of technical expertise, financial strength, and effective planning. Clipped Wings Airport Proximity and the Height Limitation Dilemma A significant constraint on building taller in Metro Manila has been height restrictions. These are primarily due to the proximity of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, or NAIA. NAIA is located in Paranac City very close to major business districts like Makati and BGC. Flight paths and safety regulations impose strict limits on building heights in surrounding areas. This has effectively capped the potential height of many developments. Even if developers have the ambition and resources to build higher, aviation safety takes precedence. These height restrictions have a direct impact on the design and feasibility of super tall projects. Architects and developers must work within these limitations. The issue has been a subject of ongoing discussion among urban planners, developers, and aviation authorities. Finding a balance between urban development aspirations and aviation safety requirements is a complex task. The development of new airport projects, such as the New Manila International Airport in Bulacan, offers a potential solution. If major flight operations are shifted away from NAIA, the existing height restrictions over Metro Manila could be reassessed. Breaking Barriers, a future skyline redefined and reaching new heights. There is immense hope for future skyscrapers that could redefine the Manila skyline. The anticipated completion of the new Manila International Airport in Bulacan is a game changer. This new airport is located further away from the central business districts. Its operation could lead to the easing or removal of current height restrictions over Metro Manila. This single development could unlock unprecedented potential for vertical growth. Developers are keenly watching this progress, as it could pave the way for the Philippines' first truly iconic super-tall structure. With relaxed height restrictions, architects and engineers will have greater freedom. They can envision and design buildings that are not only taller, but also more innovative. This could lead to a new generation of skyscrapers that incorporate cutting-edge technology and sustainable design principles.
the future Skyline could be characterized by a mix of impressive height and thoughtful design. The next wave of skyscrapers could symbolize this new era of prosperity and confidence for the entire nation. Ultimately, the transformation of the Philippine skyline will be a powerful symbol of the nation's journey towards modernity and its aspirations for the future.